me play! When you throw pots at the old man, he drops coins! Hello there, my name's Grim Strife, and today I'm going to be playing a new game that I picked up off Steam real cheap, for about $10. It's called Ocean Horn, Un Monster of Uncharted Sea. A little bit of a strange name, but I think it has might have something to do with the story. Uh, picked it up off Steam because it looked pretty cheap, it looked pretty cool, kind of, once again, reminded me of Wind Waker, I know I said that about salt, but just something about being on the sea in a tiny boat seems really awesome. Uh, before I picked it up, I thought it was new, because the uh, release date on Steam was in this month, but I found out that it's quite old, and it's actually uh, originally a tablet handheld game, but I was like, ah, hoo-ha, I don't care anyway, play what I want. So, here we go, we're going to start off with a new game. I have split played just a little bit to see if it worked and everything, and it turns out it doesn't quite work well with fraps, but I got it to the point where I can set it up, it's going to take me a moment or two. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys hear the cutscene here. It acts up, I'm sorry. I need to adjust some of the settings inside the game. I'm leaving tonight and I'm not coming back, kid. My fate is tied to a monster from the depths of time. Ocean Horn. Oh, I, see. I hear its horrible sound echoing from the sea. It is coming for me again. This is all happening sooner than I thought, and I am forced to act. Whatever happens next, I'm not going to lose you like I lost your mother. This necklace is the last thing left of her. Keep it close and guard it well. I will give you my old notebook for my travels. What is that? It will guide your way to an island of a friend. He will help you to prepare for what is coming. I know I'm asking too much of you. This is the Stop, Ocean Horn. I always skipped the cutscenes before because I was just trying Wake to test up. the game out. The time has come. For some reason, it really doesn't like this peak. I think that's just about it. Come on, man. You can wake up. Get up so we can start moving around. There's that necklace you were supposed to keep safe. Just laying on the book there, hovering, glowing a little bit. Yeah, just, just let it fly away. No one's worried about it. Just, you know, the last keepsake from your missing father. Eh, we didn't need it anyway. Alright, here's where the game begins off. It gives you a few of these challenges. I'm, I'm wondering if there was possibly some sort of microtransactions originally in the game, because it kind of gives me that feeling, but uh, I'm not certain. So, game runs a little slow with fraps, so if we just go into the options and I adjust a few things, first we're going to adjust the sound a little bit, because it is a little loud. Unfortunately, this game doesn't have an options menu on the title screen. So you have to actually go into the game, and I kind of like to start from the splash screen. Although, though, it is pretty already much already set up the way I want it. I'm just going to put it on high because it soft shadows kind of freaks it out a little bit. Normally it's locked at 60 FPS on Ultra, and that's part of the problem. Is for some reason it causes a bit of problem when it's locked at 60 frames. See? Getting a little bit of there. Now it's now it's used to it, so now we're, we're doing better. Alright, anyway, this game really reminds me of, like, classic Zelda, because you, I think that's what they were going for, because you can pick things up and throw it every so lovingly into people. You can actually throw stuff into people, which is hilarious, because they, they get a little upset, but they say absolutely nothing, so you can do it as much as you want. Because if people don't say stuff, you can keep doing it. That's the golden rule. And, well, golden rule is not getting caught, but in this game, they, they just don't care if you throw stuff directly at them. I have not explored much. I'm not sure. I have a stick, and I hit things with it, and that's all I've really done, just to test things out. Oh crap, that little beetle has a skull on it! It's a death beetle! 
Either that or just got into a really bad crowd. There's one thing I know I can do to get some of these little diamond things. Totally did, just did the Zelda spin. This game's already, you know, already five stars. Zelda spin, five stars right there. Big points for the Zelda spin. Oh, I wonder what that is. Maybe I can drop something in here to get over there. Break! You can hit a lot of things, they kind of move, but nothing seems to really break that much. And you, I've already found out that you need keys for things. Uh, yep, I need the master key for this too. There's actually a chest up in the old man's house, who you haven't seen yet, who also you need a key for his chest. That's about the farthest I've made it, as I mentioned this old guy. Talk to him. Learn what I can learn. Did you sleep well, kid? Do you still have the same nightmare? Your father often visited this island on his travels when he was younger. Thank you for that enlightening bit of information. Here you go. Oh, wait. Gotta move further away. I got this pot for you. Did you like it? Here's another one. Pot for you as well. Oh, look! When you throw pots at the old man, he drops coins! Brilliant design! Throw stuff at old man, drops coins. Awesome. I, part of my goal is to collect 30 coins, I think. It's called pocket change. I guess I should have read those, but I didn't. So, yeah. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, this is the chest I was talking about. See? You need a master key to open this chest. As for a stopping point in this, I haven't really decided when yet. I'm trying to aim for about 20 minutes. But we'll see. It's when it feels good is when I'll stop. Um, yeah, you know, that's generally how it goes. When it feels good, you stop. Or is it you keep going? I don't know, I'm getting all backwards here. Anyway, let's go back outside. We gotta finish getting our pocket change and kill more of those ruffian skull beetles. Oh, they're just misunderstood. He didn't drop any coins that time. Oh, I, I did make it to this box. It's some sort of checkpoint device. I didn't really read it. This is a checkpoint from the... Arcadian? This is a checkpoint from the Arcadian era. Oh, cool. You will magically spawn next to it if something bad happens to you. Bad touch, bad touch! Spawn right there. Don't need an adult, just get one of these things. Checkpoints can be found all over the world. Remember to activate them whenever you see one. And don't worry. All your progress and everything you have collected is saved all the time. Talk about soft core. How do I get up there? I want that coin. Eh. I got a bottle here. It's much better than a coin. Throw that over there. We should go back to that little lava spark thing. See if we can... I just I just totally made it what it was called. It's a lava spark. We should get over there and get it. Or maybe get hurt by it. I'm not sure which can be done. Hey, look. So, those seem to be experienced little diamond things. You get them here and there when you kill things. And you also get them for completing some of those little... As you saw when I did that power attack of power. Power attack of Zelda, really. He should be like... Nyah! When he does that, but he doesn't. Can I, can I dash over there? I don't know. Maybe when I get my boat. Oh, look, there's a boat over there. It's behind this locked door. Open! That's my boat! I want my boat. And I guess I can't get to it. Oh, well. Off we go. Off to adventure. There's some butterflies. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. I had a phone call. I had to go answer the phone. I hate it when that happens. You know, you're right in the middle of recording and someone wants to talk to you. People, people just shouldn't talk to me. Throw objects while carrying an object. Wait, I, I... Yeah, that that's how it, that's how it's worded. Seems a little strange, but we'll go with it. Get it! Oh, he's coming after me! I can't run! Ow! Ow, I'm supposed to be killing you with that pot. Don't chase me. Maybe there's another pot here I can use. No, wait. I have a tendency to throw every pot I see. Oh, wait. Pot of safety, come here. Come here and get some. Old man! blocked my shot. He was like, not in my house. Crazy old man. I got an idea. I, I know from the beginning that it said if you break kill a pot with an kill an enemy with a pot, you get more points. So I'm resetting everything so I can kill an enemy with a pot. Hey, game saved when I walked inside. Cool. Now, I know this game's about at least two years old because I saw some of the older videos on YouTube for it. Maybe a little sad because I was hoping I was getting a new game. But it did just release on Steam, so maybe some of you, you know, are checking it out. You know, spying, seeing what, you, seeing what you can see. So if you are, I hope you enjoy the video. All however long it is. I'm gonna go throw this pot at this poor misunderstood beetle who joined the wrong gang and got some tattoos. Eat it! Yay! Do I get anything? Kill an enemy with a jar. 
Let that be a lesson to all of you. If you want someone dead, hit them with a jar. This game teaches valuable and li important life lessons, like killing people with a jar. Or, I guess, beetles. Killing beetles with a jar. Although, if you kill the beetles with your mother's jar, I'm sure she'll be upset. Make sure it's your jar, not your mother's jar. Because sometimes moms like their jars. Hey, look, there's another... Uh-oh. That beetle just came up out of the ground. What are you doing? What are you doing? Stay under that dirt. This is this is people's land, not beetles' land. It's where people walk. Beetles get to walk underground. If I go underground, then you can be there. Anyway. Alright, I guess there's a whole bunch of stuff to do on this island. I don't know if you can jump, but if you can, that's cool. Well, so far all I've, all I've discovered is dash. I mean, I know there was controls at the beginning. I guess I should have read those. But I'm more of a I'm more of a kinesthetic learner, as we've seen in Salt. It has been revealed to me by a certain someone whose name shall not be mentioned, <coughs> Emperor Soul, that I have enough materials to build a sword. But that's another game. I should stop talking about that game. Start talking about this game. Ooh, now the beetles can come out because now we're in Beetle Land. This is this is not where I'm supposed to be. So if beetles get angry at me, that's okay. Oh look, gold coin. How many? I have 12 gold coins. I need 18 more to get that pocket change. What's this say? Coins, hearts, and other items are hidden. Who hid them? Oh, cool. You can read a little more... Be a little more intimate about it. Come here. Come here. No one's drinking these. I'm tired of Grandpa getting drunk and hitting me. Sorry. That might have been a little too, uh... A little too deep. Not deep, but, uh... A little too close to home for some people. I'm tired of strange old men getting drunk and hitting me. There. It's less personal, that one. Anyway, what what are these? They like shed scales. They're like purple lizard plants. Purple lizard plants. Oh, it's a. I don't even want to tell you what that looks like. It's a spike, spiked slime. Instead of having a slime, they made a spiked creature that looks somewhat like a slime. Or a phallic object. Push objects with action button. With the action button. Sorry. Yay. I, I'm, I'm guessing that wasn't how I was supposed to do it, but that's how I decided to do it. I'm a rebel. Can I jump in there? No, I can't jump in the water. It just seems to go on forever. Ah, nothing happens. I'm pretty sure that I was supposed to... What's, what's, what is the action button? F? E? Oh, I can chop this. Alright, which one's the action button? Tell me. Which one's the action button? Do the thing. Killing the plant. Alright. Uh, action button. Action button. See? This is where you're supposed to... Oh, wait, there we go. Never mind. I'm good. Aha! See? Check that out. <laughs> that time the camera actually showed me. Oh, look. A treasure chest. What's inside? Give me a sword. Give me a sword. Come on. Let it be a sword. It's a key. I got a regular key. Not even the master key. It's a regular key. It's a lame key. What does a regular key do? Unlocks regular doors? Who wants to go through a regular door? Everybody wants to go... Well, okay. I kind of want to go through this door. Da -da -da -da! That's what it should have done. You know, and then the key's over your head. Since this senselessly reminds me of another... Ooh! I'm guessing... I'm supposed to pick up these wooden logs? No. All I can do is hit the wooden logs. Now, if you were going to go on an adventure, why would you take a stick? I mean, granted, it's a pretty pretty solid stick, but it's still just just a stick. Ooh. There's a bat! I can't see the bat, but I can see the bat's shadow. Oh, 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 I'm going to suck your blood. Well, that, that came out wrong. I meant to say suck, I promise. Come here. Alright. Doesn't seem to be anything... Oh, there's a gold. There's a coin. Hey, look! It's not a bat. It's some sort of other creature. Is it hostile? Yes. It's one-eyed. It's a one-eyed flying purple... It's a one-eyed flying purple monster man-eater? I don't know. It's an old song. One-eyed one something flying purple people eater. There we go. I can't remember the other one thing it has, but it's got two one things. Alright. That button doesn't do anything unless I have these buttons covered, I'm guessing. But what do I cover these buttons with? Let's see what this sign says. You can pick up many kinds of things. Thank you for that enlightening piece of information. Is it this rock? Yes! I can pick up this rock! So then, I take this rock, and I put it here, right? 
Nope, bounces right off. That was very enlightening, game. Thank you. So, what is this rock exactly supposed to do? Do I stand on it and then put it down? Will that, will that put the rock down? That seems to bounce. Alright, eh. There, that time I threw the rock at it. You gotta throw the rock at it. So you get things done. You throw stuff at stuff. Wow, that one just like, <clears throat> magnetized to it. Now, what's this guy do? I don't know. Absolutely nothing as far as I can tell. But look! It's my mother's necklace! It's like Aztec or, or Incan or something. You got your mother's necklace! It seems like it is no ordinary pendant. Yeah, well that's obvious. It got up, glowed, floated away to lead me to this treasure chest, which has a sword. See? See? Eh? One out of two ain't bad. One out of two ain't bad. A sword and shield. Sweet, now I can kill stuff. Can I, can I block? What's the shield good for if I can't block? Press escape. You are a traveler. You got your health refilled and ten coins. Okay. Is that all you're going to tell me? Almost got the pocket change thing. Oh, wait. It was only 25 coins. Ha ha ha. Silly me and my lack of ability to read. Alright. Uh, space. Oh, there we go. Yay. All we needed was to flip that lever and it would take us right out. March forward we go. Up the ladder of destiny. There we go. I'm not used to spacebar being the button you push to get things done. Alright. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Maybe I wanted that. I might have needed it for something. Oh, look, another treasure chest. What could this one have in it? A do-it-yourself help book? Nope, another ten coins. What's this sign say? Open menu to access items and statistics. Uh, is that escape? Yeah. Okay, we have... Oh, that was what I saw. This thing, whatever it is. But we do have Mother's Necklace. Once again, probably possessed by some sort of ancient, even evil Aztec priest. And we have a shield and a sword. Off we go. Oh crap! Get out of here! No one wants that. It's sad that my stick is only slightly worse than my sword. That was a pretty hefty stick. I mean, granted, I, I wouldn't expect to kill an opponent in one hit. But I guess two hits ain't bad. Especially since it took about four. It's only about twice as good. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, look, it's the old man. He's one of the, he wants to tell me something now. This is a checkpoint. I know this already. Just check my point. Alright, what do you got for me, old man? Uh, so, why was his sword and shield in that cave? I thought he went off to fight the beast. Oh, anyway, doesn't matter. You found your father's sword and shield. How did you get your hands on them? You were supposed to have them later. What? Your mother's necklace starts to glow? How could I be so stupid? This is one of the symbols of ancient Arcadia. Follow me, I have to tell you a story. Well, I have to tell a story to you, but my brain, you know, switch it. A long I'll time ago, these islands were the mighty kingdom of Arcadia. My voice is better. The Age of Enlightenment led Arcadians to outstanding scientific discoveries. Engineering and magic ran deep in their blood. A foul war began as Dark Lord Mesmeroth, who had once been a promising candidate for an Archmage, led dire folk armies to a war against Arcadia. I wonder what dire folk are. I guess bad guys mean, come on, dire. With the aid of his dark magic and the dire folk, Mesmeroth dug deep into the ground and brought to daylight something that should have stayed in the depths of the earth. Mesmeroth. Triloth, a mass of dark energy left over from the creation of the world. A combination of a Black lizard and a moth. Black arrived to the gates of Arcadia, carrying the dark energy Triloth. Soon the light from the world and from the hearts of men faded. The once flourishing society disappeared into the darkness. After the catastrophe, three sea monsters appeared. One of them was Ocean Horn. Ooh. Interesting. Oh, it is a vile creature, born under the dark burning light of Triloth. Although all of these monsters were powerful, only one has survived up to this day. 
Kinda hard to fight something that hides in the ocean. Sounds more like he's the cowardly one. Oh, it is getting late, kid. Return to me in the morning. Is it really that hard to talk? How old are you? Alright, give me the master key. Yo! Old man. Give me the master key. Go to your lookout now, kid. But come... Oh wait, sorry. Go to your lookout now, kid. But come back to me in the morning. I'm old and I'm tired. Talking hurts my gums. Alright. Sad, because, I mean, I know old people are capable. Just not that one. Cutting the bushes. And I get paid for this. This is how I get my allowance. I cut his lawn. Die, spike monster of... Not what I want to say. There are people I know and love who watch these. It would be embarrassing if I said what I thought they looked like. You'll just have to fill it in yourself. There is an area of the island I can go to, but I haven't explored yet. So I'm going to ignore the old man's wishes and explore it anyway, like the young rebel I am. All these weird little tiny baby beetles. I think if we, we got rid of the baby beetles, we wouldn't have to worry about the older beetles so much. So, maybe we should call an exterminator or something? Because as they get older, they just, they just fall into a bad crowd. Oh, look, a grave. Here lies Teppo, the archaeologist. Is Teppo my dad? I don't know, I wasn't paying attention! Down the ladder we go! Whee. Okay, apparently you can also just uh, left click on things and it'll work as well. I think. I mean, I don't remember pressing spacebar, but, you know, I might have hit my head in the past week and I just don't remember that. And... Voila! Suddenly I don't rem I start not remembering what I'm doing. Maybe my other personality's taking over. I don't have another personality. I I'm just kidding. Or do I? <laughs> I am a Gemini. I mean, they say Geminis have multiple personalities. <sighs> maybe, maybe I am both Grimstrife and Ember Soul. Pick up the darn bottle! Throw it. It was special. It was Dad's favorite. Oh, it's Hermit's Picnic Spot. Oh, sweet. I can go down here. Pic Picnic Spot. Not Picnic. Oh, yay. Gems. You found Rough Explorer Crystal. It, it gives you 25 e XP. I'm so used to EXP that whenever I see XP, it's so hard for me to say it right. Come here! Come here! No one likes you anyway. With a weird skull on your back. I'm trying to look all dangerous. Misunderstood. If only your mother had loved you a little more and your father had hit you a little less. Alright, off to my lookout where the shiny beams of light are coming from. And I guess we can call it here. I know I didn't finish the first island, but I will finish it in the next episode, and then I assume we'll be onto another island, since this really doesn't look like it's big enough to be the whole world. If it is the whole world, then I really got gypped. Alright, well, thank you very much for watching. This has been Grim Strife playing Oceanhorn, dealing with a giant mechanical monster of doom. And I hope you enjoy and come back for episode two. Thank you very much.